Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Grip and Dr. Lasman for allowing IRED and myself to present this uh, exciting, uh, let me say, provocating data on patients with type A dissection presented with major brain injury. Uh, type A acute artery dissection is a lethal disease for which surgery, uh, by converting a 90% mortality risk in at least a 70% survival chance, is recognized as uh, best therapeutic management. However, in uh, high-risk type A acute artery dissection patients, such as those presenting with major brain injury, the pivotal role of surgery is questioned and remains controversial due to likely persistence or progression of neurologic deficit, leading to considerable postoperative mortality and morbidity. But what and how are the data available in this context? I would say very few and conflicting, and mostly provided by small case series. Early studies have shown uh, these small survival rates uh, mostly related to persistence of progression of the neurologic deficit. Um, this is the um, papers from Fan and Dr. Cambria. But uh, earlier studies have shown more favorable outcomes, especially when surgery is performed immediately after onset of dissection. This is a paper from Tsukuba showing in 21 patients complicated by a common hospital mortality of 14% with a full recovery of consciousness in 86% of cases. And this is a paper from Dr. Estrera showing in uh, 16 patients complicated by stroke an hospital mortality of 18.8% with no worsening of neurologic condition and improvement of a neurologic condition in about half of the cases. Uh, it remains that all uh, available evidence is uh, generated and produced by a uh, small population of patients, and I believe that IRED is a unique opportunity uh, in this context by uh, assessing uh, and enrolling patients from um, uh, allowing to, to study a larger group of uh, uh, patients with such a disease, and we try to uh, take advantage of the um, considerable amount of patients enrolled and data available to um, give, an, give an answer to this uh, question. Should we operate on them? Should we operate on patients with type A dissection when they present with the major brain injury? And uh, to do that, we um, assess hospital and five years results of um, type A acute artery dissection patient with major brain injury stratified by presence and type of brain injury. So we had three groups, no brain injury patients, CVA patients, and coma patients, and by type of management, medical therapy versus surgical therapy. And uh, secondly, we aim to uh, identify predictors of short and five-year survival for all patients with brain injury and for those who were surgically uh, managed. Our definition of CVA was a persistent loss of neurological function caused by an ischemic event with or without confirmation by either computer tomography or MRI. A coma was reported to occur if patients experienced complete mental responsiveness beyond that expected from anesthesia with no evidence of physiological or physiological appropriate responses to stimulation. So between 1996 and 2011, 1,873 patients with type A dissection were enrolled in IRA database. Uh, of them, 1,732 had no brain injury, 87 were complicated by CVA, and 54 were complicated by coma. These three subgroups were compared in terms of clinical characteristics, imaging data, management, and midterm outcomes. So with regard to health and history variables, no significant differences were seen between patients presenting with or without brain injury. As compared to uncomplicated patients, those who were complicated by brain injury uh, more rapidly presented at tertiary or referring hospital and were less likely to complain of chest pain. Patients with brain injury, and especially those with coma, were more likely to present with hypotension, shock, and tamponade, and um, suffering of myocardial ischemia function, acute renal fail failure, and limb ischemia. On imaging studies, brain injury patients, and especially those with CVA, were more likely to present with arch vessel involvement by their dissection. So from our clinical and imaging data, it appears that coma patients and CVA patients are two different types of patients. Coma patients are more hemodynamically uh, compromised with hypotension, shock, and tamponade, um, leading to end organ ischemia and dysfunction of the heart, of the kidney, uh, of the brain, of course. CVA patients are more likely to present with a picture of brain malperfusion due to involvement of the arch vessel. And such a difference clearly and strongly uh, influenced uh, survival of uh, patients. Hospital mortality for uncomplicated patients was 22.7%. It was twofold higher, 40% for CVA patients. It was threefold higher for comatose patients, 63%. Uh, percent and renal failure, hypotension, shock, and tamponade with a similar odds ratio of 3.4 were indicated as strong um, risk factors for 
uh, mortality or multivariate analysis. At IRED size, uh, presence and type of brain injury um, influenced uh, type of management. So surgical therapy was avoided and medical therapy employed in 11% of the uncomplicated patients, uh, in 24.1% of CVA patients, and in 33.3% of comatose patients. This difference was uh, statistically significant and clearly echoing the surgical attitude to sidestep surgery in such high-risk patients. But when we assessed outcomes according to type of management, we found that uh, medical management was associated with very disappointing uh, survival rates, um, with 100% mortality rate for comatose patients and 76.2% mortality rate for the stroke patient. And as a matter of fact, um, surgical management was uh, associated with 50% uh, survival uh, benefit. We look at survival to discharge, and, uh, which was 12%, 12.8% after medical management. It was much higher after surgical therapy, 66.7%. And surgery uh, was uh, indicated as a strong um, protective factor against mortality in patients with brain injury. It has been, uh, I mentioned before, that um, urgent surgical repair in patients with type A dissection presented with major brain injury may be tempered by the concern of uh, worsening of the neurologic condition after surgical repair. Well, uh, here we report a brain injury reversal rate of 80.4% in CVA patients and a brain injury reversal rate of 74.2% in comatose uh, patients. And brain injury reversal, when occurred, uh, was indicated as a protective factor against mortality in the surgically managed uh, population. Uh, following either um, medical or surgical therapy, no significant differences were seen in terms of uh, other complications in CVA and comma patients. I read data forms uh, also, and of course, include uh, follow-up variables, and we found that uh, presence and type of brain injury influenced uh, five-year survival as well. That was 72.9% for uncomplicated patients. It was 54 and 37 in CVA and coma patients. And assessing, stratifying uh, survival at five years according to a type of management, we had 0% one-year survival for comatose patients. They all died at initial um, admission in the, in the hospital for the onset of the dissection. That was 238 for CVA patients. And uh, uh, surgical management was associated with increased survival, 57 and 67% for coma and CVA patients. So at the end of the road, um, e even at five years, surgical management confirmed to, to be associated with the uh, 50% uh, survival benefit over medical management. And uh, such observation was confirmed by our uh, Cox regression indicating surgical management as a protective factor against uh, five years uh, mortality. Limitation, of course, our study uh, presents different limitation. The first one is that it, our study is an observational study, so it carries all limitation inherent to registry date analysis. So it's very likely that patients who were uh, deemed operable by RL surgeons uh, presented with a more favorable risk profile and therefore were associated with best early and five-year uh, survival. Nevertheless, I think that in this setting, um, this level of evidence is, is the best evidence we can have in, uh, we, uh, and, and obtain, and uh, the um, survival benefit coming out from surgical management over medical therapy was dramatic and therefore important to consider. Our definition of uh, coma and um, stroke fail to distinguish patients with different brain lesion per site, extent, and clinical relevance. So uh, it's likely as well that our comparison of medical and surgical therapy in terms of short and midterm outcomes uh, were uh, influenced by uh, selection bias during the therapeutic referral process. And uh, only uh, recently, I read, uh, introduced and developed a new um, invasive treatment data form aiming to collect very detailed information about surgical techniques, methods of brain protection, but at this stage we have very sparse data, so they were not sufficient to, um, to assess any potential impact of different techniques on uh, the surgical outcome of our patient. We did not address quality of uh, uh, life, but I still believe that our study remains an important one because it assessed the largest series of unselected patients with type A dissection presented with brain injury, irrespective of therapeutic management with short and midterm outcomes stratified by presence and type of cerebral damage in contrast to majority of prior study, which assessed only the surgical cohorts. 
I go to my conclusion, our data show that nearly one out of 10 patients are complicated by measured brain injury at onset of dissection, carrying a two to threefold higher risk of mortality, depending on presence of coma or uh, CVA. When compared to medical therapy, surgery in selected patients appear to be associated with best early and late outcomes. Brain injury reversal was frequent after surgery occurring in about 80% of CVA and coma patients. So I think that our data suggest that in type A aortic dissection patient, brain injury per se should not contraindicate surgery, especially if patients do not present with signs of a neurologic devastation. Uh, so I think that intervention should, we, should always be uh, considered. I'd like to thank you very much for the attention. Thank you.